I've spent the last four years learning from the most brilliant marketers today. And now I've left my nine to five to take the plunge and build my million dollar business. The real question is, how will I do it without VC funding or debt completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my online business using only today's best internet sales funnels. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. What's up, my people? I was about to erase this, and then I realized it'd make, actually make a really cool podcast episode. So uh, what I'm doing right now is um, I spent probably about six hours today uh, researching different types of summits. And so I went through, if you guys have ever seen Funnel University, Funnel University um, is something that goes out every month, and Russell talks about some of the coolest funnels he's either seen or has been building. And uh, since I was there, I often was the guy holding the camera, helping him film those. And I remember there back in the days, probably at a year and a half ago, there's an episode that he put out, and uh, you know, I was filming it, and he was going through his favorite summits. And um, I really want to do a summit. And so I bought Offersummit.com. And this morning when I woke up, I thought I'd be building Offersummit.com. And the problem with Offersummit.com is that it, there's no hook. Like, you know, like the the domain is not a hook itself, which is a, which is a huge issue. So I changed it. It's not Offersummit.com anymore. Um, like, like think of it like, like 30 days, right? 30days.com, right? The summit that launched uh, the actual 30 days book, wherever mine is right now. I got them all over the place. <laughs> For some reason, I can't find one right now. Anyway, that, that book, 30 days book. Right, Russell could have created FunnelSummit.com, but he didn't. He wanted a hook. And I don't know why I was not thinking about that. And then this morning I woke up and I was like, I need to like offer summit.com. Like it's a cool domain, but like it actually sucks <laughs> because the hook isn't in the headline. And he would focus on that a lot with people. And uh and sorry, the hook isn't in the domain. And he would he would focus on that with a lot of people. So what I decided to do was like well, let's think about this. Like, if, if the 30 days book is, and hopefully you guys have read it. If you've not, go to OFASignup.com. OFASignup.com. And it's an amazing book. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's one of the most, in my opinion, it's one of the most, one of the most valuable books for anybody who's trying to actually start or expand um, that I think is out there. Um, very up-to-date information. It's really cool. Anyway, so like the purpose of that book is to say, or the purpose of that summit was, hey, if you lost it all, how would you get it back in 30 days? Well, I thought, well, how cool would it be instead to like, there's all these offer types, there's all these things that are out there, but like, why don't we ask the gurus that are out there what what the final offer would be, right? If we are supposed, we're building all this stuff, every one of us, so eventually we can, we can you know, have the passive income that exceeds our expenses, have, you know, be on the beach and work on, the, you know, I, I always think it's funny, people are like, you could work on the beach. Dude, if you're working on the beach, you did it wrong, right? <laughs> Leave the beach Leave the leave, leave, leave laptop in the hotel. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking like, why don't we ask all these gurus what it is, like what would your final offer be, right? Rather than like, how would you get it back in 30 days? Which is a really cool hook, but I was thinking like, why don't we flip that? So what I made it is it's called yourfinaloffer.com. And what we're doing is we're going out to all these people and we're asking them, what would be the final offer? If you could make one last offer in your entire life that you were supposed to live on, okay? That changes the game of it. Not how would you get it back, what's the final thing that you would build, the final offer? And so that's what I've been doing today. And uh, I went through and I, I did some mego hacking of different funnel types and uh, summit types. And Frank, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys, I am so exhausted. I was about to erase that. This is my second funnel I planned for my whole team today. And it's a solid three, four, five hour process in order for me to go into depth for them to all know what they're doing. And they all already know that, I mean, they're really skilled people, right? But in my role, my role is to go deep and make sure all the details are, are given ahead of time so they can do what I hire them to do, right? So anyway, this is my second one today. I just finished um, the, the capitalism swag, uh, com one, which is not out yet at the time of filming this. But um, so this is the second one. So I've been filming since 6 a.m. And it is... Uh, 6.50 p.m. <laughs> it didn't take me long to draw this. It took me that long to go in and think through hooks and see if there's a domain available for it. And so I have your final offer. And um, me filming this right now, you know, it's, it's probably not up, but it might, I don't know, depending on when you're watching this episode, go to yourfinaloffer.com. And what we're doing is I'm going to all these people and I'm asking them again, 
if there was one final offer you could go build the rest of your life, right? Let's say you build an offer and, and it's your last shot. The doctor said, stop working or you're gonna die, right? What would that be? And that, man, that's powerful. So I'm excited. So what I decided to go do was dive deeply into, um, um, I decided to go dive deeply into uh, different summit types that are out there. Um, so this is it. Right, and so we're going in, and we're looking at 30days.com, the registration page, and then there's these four different styles of thank you pages with different hooks to go in and buy right uh, the actual product. So we're gonna have this uh, really cool share thing. We're gonna go this four different. And anyways, what I would do, go do is 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 um, you know it's free to attend it. So go to go to uh, yourfinaloffer.com, and you can watch this all happen. So anyways, I thought I'd document and stop and document what I'm doing right now here. But uh, let me flip the camera around real fast and uh, share this with you actually. All right, so on this side here, so we have we have the 30days.com, like, right, that's the, that's the page we're looking at. So we're gonna go build a registration page. And what you're registering for, you know, you get the free PDF guide, you get the actual uh, Summit Pass, obviously. Um, and then there's four different types of, four different types of thank you pages. And I looked at this from a Funnel University episode, and, uh, and I started drawing, and I realized, like, oh my gosh, like, this is actually one of the most legit funnels ever, <laughs> and, um, and what, the reason why is because, like, as soon as you register, there's all these different hooks that push back to the same thing, like, hey, we want you to go order this, right, um, and, and then there's a, there's a tripwire funnel that happens right here, it's kind of a tripwire funnel, uh, kind of, anyway, so what you do, though, is, like, the first email that goes out pitches them to come buy this main product through the hook of, like, hey, look, Here's oh, ten thousand dollars worth of free training, or whatever. The next one is, hey, go look. Um, and if you guys are like listening to this, I would go on YouTube and I'd watch this because this is this is. Uh, go anyway. Go to salesfunnelradio.tv, and it'll take you straight to the channel and uh, forward you right there. But anyway, uh, next next few days go by, and then all of a sudden uh, there's a new hook, right? And it says, hey, well, do you want some prizes? Right, boom, and you go and you enter in your name, name and email right here, and you get entered into raffles for prizes, right? And there's ways to increase your points for the prizes and such. A few more days go by, and it's, and we add we go for another angle to try to get somebody to come in and purchase. Right? Well, how about a gift, right? Um, and so you go and you click, and it takes you up to this page. It's like, well, here's three thousand dollars in in free gifts that go with this. So you click right here, and it goes there, right? And then a few a few more days go by, and it says, hey, well, you know, do you want, you know, uh, some some people are motivated by savings, right? I'm really not, <laughs> but some people are. So if I click right here, it'll take me over to this fourth one. So anyways, it's interesting because across the top, it's this header that tr that uh, that changes. Page one, two, three, four, and it's clickable throughout. So it's, it's all these different hooks that go and get them onto these pages. And then every single one of these uh, uh, buttons goes and pushes you back to the order page, back to the order, back to the order, back to the order, right? And then when the actual summit is going down, which is this one right here, right? You can see who's gonna be on what they're gonna talk about, a picture of them. You know what, yeah, I do want this. Guess where that takes you? Down to the bottom, which is the exact same block as all these others. And then you click right there and it takes you, bam, straight to the order, right? Like all roads lead to this. Instead of like, you know, upsells are there to like, I really like a point that I learned from Russell. Upsells are there to like, obviously expand the, the average car value. Well, what's cool is like, this is like the opposite where there's all these different angles to go and get somebody into the same page. Super interesting, right? Um, we have incredible affiliate tools. We're gonna have pre-built bridge pages. And anyway, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, that's what I've been building. And uh, and at the end of it, there's super awesome, uh, uh, really cool members area that, that pops out right there. And anyway, so it's been awesome. Um, I... Um, the purpose of it is to make more noise about Offermind, right? I, I, I will, <laughs> I am shocked if someone chooses not to come to Offermind. We're selling tickets like every day still. It's awesome. There's, there's, but it's interesting, you know, as a direct response marketer, the moment you stop a campaign, so do the sales come, even though it's still live, right? <laughs> and you probably have experienced this if you've ever launched anything, right? Like the moment you stop pushing, the moment you stop the ad or the moment that you stop any kind of campaign or promo, the cash stops. It's not that you took the page down, you just stop pushing, right? There's no more campaign, which, which directly fights the idea that if you build it, they will come, right? Hope marketing is a terrible strategy. Hope is a, is a bad, that, that, that is not a marketing strategy, right? So anyway, so that's what I've been doing. That's why we've been doing it. And uh, I'm, I'm exhausted thinking through all the pieces, all the details. What happens is I draw this the first time and then I go through and I think to myself, okay, if I am the guy that I hire for my writing, 
what are all the things that I need to go do? And then I create a checklist for him across the entire funnel, right? And I make a video specifically for him saying, I'm gonna need this, then this, then this, then this. And I go and I capture it in a Trello checklist, right? It's on the same, each, each card in Trello um, has a checklist um, with all the team members in it, they're gonna be building it, right? Then I'm like, okay, cool, then I got that one. And I upload that video and I link it to that Trello card. And I say, hey, here's the assignment, here's what I need you to do, um, and here's details, uh, here's a detailed checklist. And I, it gives me a moment to think through each role in, in the funnel build process, right? All right, video guy, okay. What are all things he's gonna need to go do? And then I erase all the other colors that aren't black on here and I take a different color and I go back and I draw across the top of it. You know, hey, I'm gonna need this video and that video and this video and that video and let's put these here and let's make sure we have these video enders here. And let's make sure we have, in, you know, uh, intro, outro, um, motion graphics. And let's make sure, you see what I'm saying? Well, all the while while I'm saying those things, after I pause, I stop the video, I go write all of them on down. And then I step back and I'm like, okay, now if I'm the ads people, what would I wanna know, right? And so like, I know part of the major, it's part, part of the reason why, why my stuff works so well is because I know the roles, right? I don't know how to do all the roles, but I know what those roles do. Does that make sense? That's a, that's a super key difference. And so when it comes to your teams, like you don't have to know how to do, I, I actually, I would recommend you not know how to do all the things. It probably means that you've learned things you really don't need to know. Um, but what I would go do is I would at least know what the roles do. So when you sit back and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna design the sweet funnel. And then we design a launch campaign. Then we design evergreen campaigns. Then we design, okay, what does the graphics guy need to know? What does the writer need to know? What does the videographer need to know? What is it right? And you make all these checklists. Like the game gets a lot simpler. And it's the reason why I keep turning out these major projects. Like these are not small, right? That's a big freaking funnel. Um, anyway. So I'm excited about it. So anyways, yeah, go to uh, yourfinaloffer.com and uh, we're gonna try and theme some of it out like uh, like the show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Is that your final answer? Is that, be, is that your final offer? <laughs> anyway, and uh, anyway, we're still working through some pieces on that, but hopefully you guys like this and this is kind of a fast episode, but I just want you to see like my process and what I go through with it, that it's really in depth. It's so funny. We make a lot of money every day and it's great. And, and uh, um, but people will be like, Stephen, you made all this money because of this, this or that or whatever. It's like, no, I work my face off, okay? I work really hard. And uh, um, in, it, while I'm working hard, there's this wake of, of cash flow that comes in. And then when I'm done, like I see what remains, right? And what's consistent, what I don't have to work for anymore. And the passive income increases. And then I go and I put more fuel in the fire, right? And I go build up this, like, the purpose of this is noise, right? That's it. I'm gonna go create a butt ton of noise. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna ask, I'm trying to get 50 people, 50 major people. I want, I'm really trying to get major gurus from yesteryear, you know what I mean? The big guys that we all know the names of. I really want them to come, all right? So we're gonna start reaching out to them and get them on the summit to contribute to the summit, make them look like rock stars that they are, but that's gonna be the way that I go out to them and say, hey, thanks for, you know, we gotta, hopefully you see that, yes, I got big eyes, but I do work hard and this would be a really cool thing for your brand. Would you like to come speak at Offermind? You see what I'm saying? There's like multiple facets that I'm running this with. So I started creating an offer for those gurus and what it is that they're gonna get from me, right? That serves them. If I go to them and I say, serve me, that's freaking annoying, I hate that, right? And I, I know when people are doing that to me, it drives me nuts, okay? They're definitely tired. If I'm tired of that, I'm not nearly as big as they are, right? They're huge, right? They, it's gonna be really annoying to them. So I'm, I'm, I got, how can I approach them in a unique way, which is the thing that we're gonna start thinking through here. So if I can go in, anyway, so that's it. And I'm gonna ask that anyone who comes to contribute on the summit, it's gonna be a couple interviews. There's gonna be things that we ask them to contribute. We ask, uh, ask them to promote one or two times. We ask them to, right, uh, to cause a lot of noise because they're gonna come in and they're gonna drop some pretty awesome stuff. Um, but it's also to help grow the list and there's a lot of list growth, little silent secret strategies that we're using on this thing to help it go even further than a summit naturally does. Uh, but it's all to go spin directly back into the Offermind funnel uh, but it's also to spin directly into 
hey, would you come speak at Offermind itself as well, okay? So what we've been doing in my calendar over there, um, I don't want to show my whole calendar. <laughs> I don't want y'all to know where I always am. <laughs> I'm speaking almost every single week the month of May. It's like I'm exhausted. I, I got to speak in two days. I haven't even created the thing yet. I know what I'm going to talk about. I just haven't made it. Oh, right. So we're just, I'm running and gunning right now, man. It's a lot. Hired another employee. We're buying an office. So I'm not working out of my home anymore. Um, just crazy. Um, cash flow can handle it. So that's, that's cool. Uh, anyway, I bootstrapped this thing from the ground up guys. And it's been, been awesome, which is why I get kind of touchy when someone's like, well, I can't do it cause I don't have time. And I'm like, boosh, boosh, front hand and back hand. Are you serious? Don't even say it. All right. I'm like, how, how bad do you want it? So anyway, that's what I've been doing. And that's why I thought it'd be kind of cool to document real quick and just teach you guys. So the question to you ask yourself is, uh, do I have a product? If you don't have a product, you focus on what a market wants and then build what they want, right? Pretty easy. Uh, if you do have a product and you're trying to build the next thing, uh, two questions. Should I be focusing on creating something that's higher ticket so I can get what's called second money? That's what I call it, right? Second money, meaning that second money is always easier than first money. The second time to say yes to you is always easier than the first time to say yes to you. So should I be creating something that's more expensive? right? Which I believe is the next place to go. So when you have the product and the product's awesome, right? Do I go and I sell something more expensive? Oh, cool. Now I have that built out. Okay. And then I believe the third question to go ask is how can I expand the pot, right? How can I, how can I make my list massive? And these kinds of strategies are the ways that I go do that for other clients of mine. I'm just, it's exciting because I'm doing it on my own also. So that's why I'm doing it, right? It's going to make a massive list. It's going to grow like crazy. Um, it's going to highlight and feature and, and, and scratch the, the, uh, uh, the backs of all these big guys, which is great. It's going to gain a relationship with me and it should go in the middle of June. Uh, I'm sorry, July, uh, middle of July is when we're planning on it. Um, but then also it's to, like I said, get that big list going and say like, Hey, look, if you like this kind of stuff, like they're all talking about offers, all of them, right? It's called your final offer. What would you like to come learn more offer templates? Would you like to come learn more? And it's not the same stuff as the, as you saw last time, if you came last time or seen the replays. Um, but do you want to come and you want to dive more deeply into the offer? Small tweaks that can make a mile worth of difference in your cash. Sweet. You should probably come to OfferMind, right? Anyway, go to OfferMind.com. VIP is almost sold out already, which is nuts. Um, it's crazy, actually. I didn't think it would sell that fast. I'm going to have to take down that OTO soon. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hopefully you guys like this episode. Just kind of a raw moment here. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm really, really tired, honestly. Um, my brain, I can tell, is starting to slow down. I'm in this spot where I'm like, should I have a little bit more caffeine or should I just go rest? And I know the answer is rest, but I got a huge speech in two days and I have not, I have not finished it yet. So anyway, I have not begun it yet, I should say. So anyway, this is what I've been doing and I create, um, I filled an entire, it was about 25 gigs worth of video filming for my team. Okay. Your role changes when you start to get a team. And my role is not to do the things that the team's doing. And that's what I used to be doing. And that's fine when you're starting out. And that's usually how you start. But my role shifts. And I felt that shift hard in the past six months. My role is no longer to do all of these things. My role is to facilitate whatever the team needs to do what I hired them to do. And so as I think deeply through all the things they might need from me and I'm, I'm constantly adding in all the assets they might need. And like, I want to tee them up so far for success. It's ridiculous. Like it's hard to fail. Right. Which has been the case. It's a mental jog on my side. My gosh, like I'm exhausted. I've been going for 12 hours. Um, but, uh, um, that's why I do it though. It sets me up, sets them up, sets the team up, sets the funnel up, sets the customer up, sets the guru up for success. How many cards can you stack in the favor pre-launch? And that's uh, that's why I do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would uh, you guys should come come to the it's, it's a free summit. <laughs> it's a free summit. Uh, go to um, yourfinaloffer.com. and then also go check out um, OfferMind. Would love to have you at OfferMind. Um, I am I'm I'm blown. <laughs> I knew it'd sell hard and that sounds conceited, but, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm shocked at how many tickets are going still just bam, 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 bam without a campaign. Okay. Next week we should turn on ads for it. Um, it's all right to keep that evergreen campaign going. This is more of a launch campaign versus an evergreen campaign. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's why we do it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys at offer mind. Hopefully you guys choose to come and, uh, remember that, uh, positive pressure is your friend. Go get rich on purpose. It will not happen on accident. 
Hey, if you're like me, you love marketing and sales strategies, right? I have a hunger to learn new marketing and sales strategies all the time. So I recently reached out to 98 marketing experts to ask them how they sell their products. But I decided I wanted to do it in kind of a clever way. And here's what I actually asked them. Your doctor suddenly delivers terrible news. You're diagnosed with an unknown disease. And unless you stop working in exactly 90 days, you will die. You have a thriving business and epic cash flow, but now you need to use your marketing know-how to trim it all down and prepare for your final offer. What steps would you take to plan, create, and launch your final offer that will fund the rest of your life? Now of the 98, only about 30 answered. And I decided that I'd turn my video interviews with them into a cool free virtual summit. If you want to watch the summit for free and see what their final offers would be for the rest of their lives and how these experts use their skills to keep their offers selling for the long term and even how they set it up so they have very low management, literally just go to yourfinaloffer.com. That's yourfinaloffer.com and sign up for the free summit now.